What's up, YouTube? It's the real comic book junkie coming at you with another contest video. This is for uh, two great channels, the Doom Des 200 subscriber contest. Man, you want to talk about two great YouTubers and two guys that have simply amazing collections? It's these two guys. Um, actually, I picked Doom for one of my. Uh, picks for CBA's contest um, so go check these two guys out just amazing content um, I mean they they've exploded onto the comic book scene with just major books keys galore um, so envious of their collection it's it's not even it's not even funny it's ridiculous um, but they're doing a, a collaboration for a contest which I think is a great idea two great youtubers bonding together um they're both well over 200 subs so <clears throat> but yeah let's go ahead and get into it um just your basic rules you got to be sub to both which i am you got to be 18 years old 18 years or older to enter uh, i'm 45 so i think i probably passed that um and share both videos in the description which i will um but yeah just uh just great great uh, content for these guys and just awesome channels and I'm so excited and happy to call them uh, friends and subs to my channel and uh, I'm a big fan of both but uh, and also you had to make a video but you only had to make one video to answer the questions um, so here it is um, this is just some eye candy that's uh, leading into one of the questions from Freddy's um, so yeah let me go ahead and uh, just jump right into it um, the Doom wanted to know, talk about an artist that you really enjoy and show five comics from that artist. Okay, well, I think I might have went a little over five. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight comics. Sorry. Sorry, Doom. You know me. I'm a junkie, man. I got to go big or go home. Uh, so let me just go ahead and pull this off. But look at that beautiful cover, guys. Signed by Stan Lee. Michael Turner. Sketch variant. Miss Marvel number one, 9.4. Just look at that beauty. Woo! Gives me chills looking at that book. Okay. One of my top favorite artists of all time has got to be Greg Horn. Uh, just I just love his artwork, man. It's just simply amazing. Um, I met him at Tampa Bay Comic Con. I've got a few prints. Uh, just amazing, amazing guy. Super nice. The detail in his artwork is just incredible. Um, I mean, all I can say is, I mean, look at that cover. This is Elektra, Marvel Knights number 13, Greg Horn cover. As you can see, his name's right right above her her uh, booby there. But just look at the detail on that on that cover. Um, yeah, I just love Greg Horn's work. I've always been a big fan of his work. Uh, here's Emma Frost. Uh, another iconic cover. You'll see a lot of prints with this cover here. Just the detail that he does his female characters is just amazing. Um, he did a lot. Of, he I think he drew almost every cover for Elektra and Emma Frost. Um, and I have both series. I just picked out a, a cover from each one. And of course, he drew a, a ton of covers for Miss Marvel. Um, but as you can see, just the detail is just amazing. And he just... He makes uh, the women that he draws uh, very beautiful, and they're you know they have that really strong look to them. Um, if that makes any sense, and they're not overly masculinized, if that makes sense too. They're like not overly muscular. Um, they just they just very beautiful women. I mean, look look at this cover here. I have this actual print. Um, just. Just the way he does his books. It's just the detail is amazing. Um, I just love the way he draws uh, the, f the female form. It's just beautiful. And here's another great cover with Spider-Man. Um, just the detail. Just it, it, draw, it drew me right in. As soon as I saw it, I had to go out and start collecting his books. It's an artist that I don't really talk about a lot. But it is he is one of my favorite artists. And like I said, I met him at Tampa Comic Con. Um, I'll pan up here on my wall. If you see the Wolverine poster, the Deadpool, the Power Girl, the Joker, and uh, 
Harley Quinn there and the Galactus. Uh, and there's that Miss Marvel print. Those are all Greg Horn prints that I've got from Tampa Bay Comic Con. They are all signed by him. Super nice guy. You know, he was nice to my wife. You know, she did the shit with her for a little bit. <clears throat> just a really nice guy. Great art. Love his work. Um, I have a ton of books by him, but I just pulled out five or six to uh, showcase. <clears throat> okay. Next is Freddy's uh, questions. It is, what is the hardest book I had to hunt down? And, of course, um, me being a X-Men slash Wolverine fan, the hardest book that I found that it took for me to get in my collection was Hulk 181. Um, I never get tired of looking at this book. It is showcased in one of my bookcases here in my room. Um, as far back as I can remember, I've always been a huge Wolverine fan. Um, but this book has is, is always been out of my price range and out of my, out of my grasp. And... Uh, yeah, I know it's a green label. It's missing the value stamp, but I don't give a shit. The book is complete. It's my it's my ultimate grail book. And I own it, so that's all that matters to me. Um, it's just a beautiful book. It's my favorite character of all time. I just simply love Wolverine. Um, I can't get enough of Wolverine comics. Um, just his attitude and the way he goes about business is just amazing. But yeah, this book here... It took me up to a couple years ago before I finally had it in my collection. Um, the price range on this book is so so far out of range for most collectors, and for me, to, I've never really been a big a guy big on spending big dollars on comics. So for me to pull the trigger on this book, it took a lot, and it took a lot of thinking, and, and I eventually did it. And I'm so happy that I did, as I finally have it in my collection. But this is the hardest book. That I got. A couple other honorable mentions for that is X-Men number 94. This was another tough book for me to get. Um, the price was always, you know, I didn't want to spend a couple hundred dollars on a book. Um, but I got this for a really good price. It's not in the best condition. But I don't care. It's complete. And it is, it's mine. And it's, um, but yeah, that's another one. And another one that was hard for me to come across is, of course, Giant Size X-Men number one. Uh... That's always been a top book of mine. Um, up, like I said, up until a couple years ago, I believe I got these both the same year. So yeah, for me, that was amazing to get both of my top books. That uh, that's taken me almost my entire collecting uh, career to to achieve. But I finally have them. They're in my collection, and this is an honorable mention. And the one key book now that I'm on the hunt for that'll probably be a while before I get is X-Men number one. Um, that book there is just, once I get that book, I'm, I'm going to quit collecting comics. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that's a book I don't have that I'm on the hunt for, uh, but that may take me a little bit of time to get that one. But it's eventually a book that I do want to have in my collection. And that leads me into, do I prefer comics slabbed or unslabbed? Okay, um, I'm going to put this Miss Marvel back up. I don't have, I do have a subscription to CBCS, but I've never sent in a book personally. Every, every slab book that I have has been books that I've gotten on eBay. Um, I'm more of a fan of a raw copy guy. I like raw books, but if I can find a good deal on a nice key book, and um, hence my Hulk 181, if I can find a good deal on a, on a key book that I want, and I already have multiple reprints of Hulk 181. So for me to be able to get that graded for the price that I paid, I am willing to buy it. Um, I, I'm always on the hunt for Stan Lee signed books graded. Um, so I got this for a really good price too. Uh, so yeah, I'm not a, you know, I, I'll buy them when I can. Uh, mainly for keys or like signature series books. But for the most part, I am a raw copy kind of guy. And, uh... Yeah, but I, I just love this book here. I got it a few years ago um, for a damn good price. Uh, Michael Turner, signed by Stan Lee, 9.4. Um, just a great book. I love this cover. I have also have multiple copies of the the colored version. So, um, not slab, but raw. But, yeah, that's. I hope that answers your questions, guys. Um, 
Greg Horn, one of my favorite artists. I love his artwork. I showed a few books from them. Um, the hardest book for me to come come across has been Hulk 181 and X Men number one or Giant Size X Men number one. But I never get tired of looking at this book. It's it's on showcase in my room 24 um, seven. Even my wife stops by and looks at it and goes, "Wow, that's a nice book." So. Yeah, that, and I do prefer unslab books, but if I can find a good deal on a key or a signature series book, um, I will definitely buy it slabbed. But anyways, guys, congratulations on your achievements. I'm sure you guys are going to go super far in this community. Um, you both have great content. I love your channels. Um, I've been a big fan of both of you guys for a long time. And uh, yeah, guys, keep going forward. Um, good luck to everybody. I hope this works out. Um, like I said, I do these videos mainly for support. Uh, but yeah, I'm sorry it's a little late, but better late than never. Anyways, guys, congrats on 200. Good luck to everybody. It's the real comic book junkie coming at you with a great contest video for two awesome channels. Freddy's and the Doom. Check them out. Link's in the description below. It's the junkie. Remember, always thumbs up, thumbs down, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, don't comment. It doesn't matter. Anyways, it's the junkie, and I am out.